Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna random check it out. Oh, don't give me the fucking lost, please. Lazarus, Lazarus, we can do with. Um, I will write down the seed here as well, if you'll just give me a moment. I figured out what our last two remaining items are. H, V, Q, 8, R, R, W, 8. If you want to guess, you can guess. One of them, as we uh, anticipated, was raw liver, which apparently is not gated by Meat Boy. It's just really rare. Shows up in the secret room pool. Cool. That might have a pretty good chance to show up here. Isaac seems to have the habit of uh, giving you items or giving you a higher chance to get items that you just unlocked. Maybe I'm being, you know, maybe I'm projecting there. That's my experience, though. Raw liver, uh, a fairly common, like, last item. It's up there, at least. Also a great secret room item if we can actually get it. That's not very good performance there, but that's okay. The other one, not many people guessed it, but there were some people that had a hunch. It's fucking Skatole, aka Fly Love, aka, you know, Poop Hat, aka, I can't believe I haven't played it, but I sort of can because, you know, at the same time, I never play those, uh, those kinds of judgments in the arcade, so, in a way, it's actually great to know what our items are, because that gives me, uh, some renewed focus. I'm still gonna focus on providing, like, entertaining runs and winning. But for now, unlike Meat Boy, where we had to just kind of sit back and, and wait for the, the exact perfect conditions to show up for us to be able to get what we needed, we actually have the opportunity to influence it here and give ourselves a much, much better chance on every single run of, of being able to get those items. Now, I'm not saying this run is going to give us real Platinum God. I think that would be unlikely, shall we say. But what I will say is that we at least now know what we're missing, unless I've, I've missed out some more items that have it, but we know what we're missing and probably have the ability to um, at least influence things. So we should know when real Platinum God shows up. I'm interested to see what the last item will be. My guess, if I'm being 100% honest, my guess is that it'll probably be Raw Liver. I think Raw Liver is rarer and uh, we're going to get way less opportunities to actually get it. But, I could be wrong, it would be kind of hilarious if Skatol ended up being the last item that we didn't unlock. Or the last item we needed for Platinum God, because it is like, the most likely... Or, the, not the most likely, but it's a very easy item to influence it showing up. Sad Onion showing up, by the way, is a very good thing for a Raid of Fire. Of course, with Lazarus, one of the things that I like to do is, uh, if possible, get an HP upgrade on the first floor, then kill ourselves, and as a result of that death, come back with 1.2 times the HP... Or 1.2 times the damage, sorry, and a little bit of extra HP than you would have if you just killed yourself and then respawn normally. I would also, um, because I'm in the market to, you know, get arcades, I would very much like to get to five cents on this floor. I would rather not use a bomb to blow up any pots, because we need those bombs to look for our secret rooms to have as many chances as possible of getting, uh... I figured I'd give it a shot. <laughs> I'd rather not guarantee myself a death right now, but we'll look for it anyway. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I need to use those bombs to look for secret rooms, but... What do you think? What do you think? Where's our secret room? Down or to the side? I think it probably borders our... Sacrifice room. Could be wrong, but we've only got one bomb anyway. Might as well give it a shot. Nice. That is not raw liver, but on the other hand, it is enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go fight our boss. I hope it's not the haunt. We've been fighting the haunt on, like, every single first floor. And there he is again. Well, I don't, truth be told, I don't really care if we fight the haunt. We're probably not going to get hit the four or five times it's going to be necessary to kill us, depending on what enemies hit us. Um, we should just be able to... Ooh, nice. Uh, we should be able to get out of this, and then if he drops an HP upgrade, we can kill ourselves on that sacrifice room. Not that we'll gain anything out of it, but we can kill ourselves on that sacrifice room and come back uh, with a good chance in the future. Now, admittedly, um, my playstyle, especially using uh, bombs to get things other than Tinted Rocks as our number one priority, it may actually result in poorer results. But I don't really care about that because I know that I have the opportunity to influence my items uh, and, and the chance for real Platinum God to show up. So, there might be a slight, like, deleterious effect to my play for now, but at the same time, oh, I think it's worth it. It's worth it for the chance. Alright, this should finish the job here. HP. That is HP. Alright, so we'll go kill ourselves and then come back. We'll have two HP. You know, just hit me here. That's fine. We'll head down to the next floor without a spirit heart. Maybe we should take our pill. To be fair, we probably should have taken the pill when we had zero HP, just so it couldn't have totally backfired. 
Not zero HP, but you know what I mean. One HP. We do have, um... Are you a wizard? Great pill. How could it not be? It's part of the good pill rotation. It's not the end of the world in, on a relatively easy floor, I guess, but obviously I would rather not have it if I had a choice in the matter. There is a tinted rock. Um, that'll be my number two priority for bombs after the secret room. Would be nice to get a deal with the devil, though. The key is actually very important because I do still want to win this run. Oh, that was... <laughs> That was actually the most inopportune time for uh, Are You a Wizard to wear off. I started firing. Ooh, okay, it shows us where everything is, including the secret room, but we probably shouldn't use it right now because we don't have a bomb to get there anyway. Um, I was shooting at the fire and was like, it'll probably break before it fires. But then I stopped targeting it because my shots normalized again. All right, now we'll use it. Uh, there is no arcade on this floor. There is a library. What do you think? Library or item room? I kind of... Because you can't get raw liver... This is actually very good for us. Uh, if we want to spawn as many arcades as possible. Since you can't get raw liver on an item room, I figured why not check this out. We'll, we'll go to this instead. And I kind of regret it. It's going to hurt a lot. Gave us a pretty fly, but we are, you know, kind of on death's door. Just give me some kind of payout right off the bat. We have zero luck. We might have to beat our boss without taking damage. Hopefully it's not Fistula. Any other boss could be conceivably beaten. We pretty much got, like, a selection of... Why even bother? <laughs> we pretty much got a selection of four of the worst books. Which is disappointing. Uh, but Book of Sin is okay, and we didn't have a spacebar item anyway. That was a very aggressive move from that spider. Holy crap, stop jumping. You've lost your jumping privileges, mister, because you have abused them. No red hearts. Again, it might have to come from this boss. It's Pin. Pin is easy enough. Especially with a high rate of fire, our damage is... I mean, it's better than it is when you start as Lazarus, but it's still not that amazing. The only reason it's better is because of that multiplier. A little bit of a tricky dodge there. The main way to deal damage to Pin is when he pops up like that. Hopefully you're, like, exactly in line to get the hits. Otherwise, less so. Uh, anytime you can catch him, like, head-on, that's when you're going to deal most of your damage. So we did get an HP upgrade. We didn't deserve a deal with the Devil, but we got one. And we're going to be able to take... I was hoping those would be Spirit Hearts. I only feel comfortable enough to take one item here. I'm going to take Goat Head. Dark Matter is good. Great, even. I'm not going to go to our curse room, either. We can't go to our item room. We don't have any bombs. Wow. Disappointing. I got Book of Sin, though. I don't know if that was worth it, but we got it. And we didn't get a library. Or, sorry, an arcade, either. And we won't get an arcade on this floor, so this is uh, predominantly uh, mostly focused on A, winning, and B, getting to the secret room. Anyway. Interesting floor. I'm surprised, to some extent, that we're still alive. The lover's card, not immediately useful, but in the future, you never know. Uh, very, very difficult dodges there. Not going to mince words. I thought I was a little fucked. want to see if I can actually knock that guy onto the spikes, but not working out too easily for me. There's just, yeah, way too much, like, gating here. Way too many opportunities for me to get hit. We're going to get a deal with the devil no matter what. Uh, I think we might as well fight our boss right now. Get our deal with the devil. Probably pay the Krampus tax or something and then move along. Hopefully we have enough HP to do it. The Lover's card will probably help. And we're up against Pestilence. Pestilence, I, you have no power over me anymore. I don't need you. I do appreciate the cube of meat for the extra, you know, defensiveness. But apart from that, we're, you know, we're not having a marriage of necessity anymore. So we're going to get Cube of Meat or Ball of Bandages. I guess at this point, it's time to start thinking about what, which of those we'd actually prefer. I think I'd prefer Ball of Bandages for the Charm tiers, but should be told, I, I think it's like, it's not six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's probably like six of one, like six and a half of the other. Like, there's not a huge difference between them, but maybe enough to, to make it noteworthy. Now, if you could just stay as far fucking away as possible, that would be great. And I would love to get, like, nine lives plus a high damage item here. That's my play style, at least right now. Follow bandages, so all, so far so good. What did I tell you? 
That's not like me being any kind of like Nostradamus, Nostradamus esque. Surprisingly difficult to say. Uh, genius. Really, that's just um, you know predicting what the game seems to have a tendency to do all the fucking time. Krampus tax seems to come out earlier rather than later. I'm not sure why. But hey, paying it without taking any damage is awesome. We'll take Lump of Coal, which is a nice little damage upgrade, and that does allow us to gain access to what we're probably going to say is our item room here. If I had to guess. Now, our range is not particularly strong. That being said, uh, our rate of fire is so good that even like a very minor damage upgrade to each shot via Lump of Coal is meaningful because our rate of fire is is kind of crazy. I hate this room. We're probably going to have to go through it regardless, but I'll save it for later just because I'm my morale is low. Again, this lover's card. Just holding off on it for now, hoping that maybe Book of Sin pays out with bombs at some point. That would be nice for me so we could have a crack at our secret room or if we could just get like Spelunker's hat or, you know, X-ray vision or something like that. Spelunker's hat, I guess less so because we don't have any bombs anyway, but X-ray vision for sure. There we go. Two bombs. Secret room will not be there. Could be adjacent to this room, which would also save me a key and allow me to get into the shop. That is not raw liver, in case you didn't notice. Pheromones. Third pretty, well, a third orbital. And bad trip. Well, that gives us a good opportunity to use our lover's card, I think. We're going to use our bomb right here. Uh, I don't know really what I want from the shop, because I'd, I'd want to keep enough money to actually uh, spawn an arcade on the next floor, but I guess if we get more bombs, we could just bomb the shit out of our donation machine. This is not the right way to handle this room. But it worked! It shouldn't have worked, but it worked. I didn't know we could bomb our way into our item room, otherwise I would have done that instead of the shop, but we have extra keys anyway. And Book of Sin. Red Heart, okay. Attack Fly is pretty good. Are we at, like, Lord of the Flies yet? I guess pretty flies don't count. Because we already have, uh, maybe they count for one. We had two pretty flies already. Not a good start. Uh, just don't die. That's all I ask. Not taking damage on this room would be a good start for that. Come on. There we go. A little bit more money. You never know if that might be the one that gives us the, uh, fly love. An extra key. Uh, annoying room. I don't know if those bomb spiders actually do one full heart, but if they did, we would be in trouble. Prepare for this to be like a somewhat slower, maybe even more methodical run than average for me, because I do have... I got like a flow chart of stuff that I'm hoping to accomplish here, you know. Secret rooms and uh, having five cents on even-numbered floors is by far my 100% priority here. Or my number one priority. There's an extra key we could get for a bomb, but it doesn't really matter because we don't have a bomb and we want to save our bombs anyway to find secret rooms in the future. This floor, if there is an arcade, I would be so happy. Just wanted to see if maybe... Oh, okay. It does allow me to actually come into our shop here. I don't really want to spend money because we needed to, you know, gamble. But I, can, I could have gotten the Spirit Heart instead, but it doesn't really matter because we have uh, Goat Head anyway. But in picking this up, I feel a lot more secure about our future. So, we'll be heading down to the next floor. Caves 2. This one is uh, very important, obviously, for the uh, uh, Skatol chance. Skatol? Skatoli? I don't know. It's another one of those items. Raw liver, I'm happy to get because it's a great item, and if it shows up in secret rooms, life's good, man. Like, the, the extra HP that it gives you, I've forgotten because I haven't had it since vanilla, I guess, but it gives you, like, 3 HP or 2 HP. Red hearts only. It's very good. As far as secret room items go, in vanilla, it saved a lot of runs. I mean, we, we had a lot of runs, so that's probably why it helped out so much, but um, I'm, I'm going to be happy to get it. Skatol, I'm going to get once, and then if I ever get it again, it'll be basically luck. I very, very rarely play the the Three Skull Monty. It's a third pretty fly. This time for real, though. That could be... Um, 
Could be a secret room there. Let's go back and check it out. Even more so than the, that chest, I want to find the secret room. So that is not going to be a secret room based on the uh, blocks that were blocking the possible uh, intersection there. I can't believe that that guy took so many hits to kill. Live bomb. I don't think... Uh, it could be up there. We'll, we'll check it. First things first, though. Item room. Anarchist cookbook. Even though we need bombs, Anarchist cookbook can basically go fuck itself. Alright, come on, secret rooms. I've been diligent. I have a good feeling about this one. Okay. You know, it's gonna be... Like I said, raw liver I expect to be a lot harder to get than Skatol. Just because, you know, there's a lot of items in secret room pool. Well, like... There's not a relatively low number of secret room uh, items. However, the secret room pays out so rarely that it's, uh, you know, if you wanted to get a full cycle, if you wanted to get one of each, that could take you like 30 runs. But, again, I'm, I'm banking on the game giving us a better chance of getting the item just based on the fact that, uh, you know, we unlocked it recently. Sometimes that works out. It might be a little placebo effect, but... Uh, I feel like it works that way a lot. And if there was any time for that to come true, it would be now. Ideally, like for me specifically. Oh my fuck. Amnesia is just annoying, but still. It's like really annoying. Gertie uh, is probably my favorite enemy, to, or one of my favorite bosses to fight with an attack fly. At least one that has decent range. Because... You know, even something like Mega Ma, it's stationary, but it's a little bit less predictable in its shots. Gertie is so predictable in its shots that you can use the attack fly to just cut it up like crazy. As you can see right there. Another deal with the devil, no Krampus. And the HP is nice. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll take Abaddon. I don't see why we wouldn't here. Evil up, damage up, fear shot. It makes up for not taking dark matter. I mean, they, they do work together, so that sense doesn't make any sense, but uh, it makes me feel less bad about not being able to take dark matter earlier, I guess. Abaddon, definitely like an A-tier item. Not sure if it's an S-tier item, but it's up there. We are at 14 cents, so I would be... I wouldn't say shocked, but I would be very disappointed if we did not manage to pick up uh, an arcade chance on this floor. One bomb for two bombs is actually as close to as we can come to an ideal trade right there and I think uh, you know most people probably agreed that an early goat head was a better pickup than dark matter but I think we've been very much vindicated for that here the only uh, the only kind of alternative that I'll entertain uh, for that first floor or second floor I guess deal with the devil is if you took both items if you took both of those items and managed to survive Doubtlessly, that's probably the right way to handle things. Kudos to you. I'd rather have Counterfeit Penny than uh, Broken Remote. I don't know how I would really use Broken Remote effectively. Are you kidding me? Have we, we haven't been to every room yet, have we? It's been a fun run, don't get me wrong, but where the heck's our arcade? So we got three friendly spiders. Not your ideal outcome. Little scary there. Should not have done what I did. That's okay. Ch Chubb's not so bad. Probably shouldn't have fought him in the way that I fought him, but that's all right. Peep is even easier. Fear shot again. I say this all the time now, but it has the potential to be a little annoying. Probably shouldn't be standing right next to an enemy as well. Uh, when they have fear shot, so they could come down anywhere, and also they spawn creep, and also we have lump of coal. A lot of reasons not to do that. That's never stopped me before, though. Well, if we don't find an arcade, that was really good, uh, then we can spend money on this floor. Not that I necessarily want to. Curse. I think that's it. I think we've gone in all directions here. That's bad luck, man. Well, the good news is eventually, when we encounter our, our, our arcade, if we encounter our arcade, wow. Kind of a lucky secret room, actually. Uh, then uh, I will have a lot of money with which to play the Three Skull Monty. We've been down this way, right? That was uh, This was the way that we went to fight like that mini-boss, I think. Yes. And we've been to the right, because that's where we fought the boss, and we've been to the left. Oh, my God. That being said, it's way less frustrating than Cuba Meat. Cuba Meat, again, the reason it was so annoying is because it was outside of our control. 
I don't really want to do this. Let's just head down. Let's save our keys, open some golden chests instead. Well, on the next floor, we will be looking for uh, a secret room. We won't be looking for an arcade. You can still find, like, the Three Skull Monty. Where the heck are we supposed to go here? Um, you can still find the Three Skull Monty in the womb occasionally, but it's pretty rare. I don't like our odds of that. And boss rush is not going to happen here. I don't know if you can get Skatol on boss rush. So I'm not going to I'm not going to make that a principal part of our plans here versus the stuff that, you know, I'm 100% certain of. But if we eventually, you know, discover that it is useful there, that might be uh, one way to augment our chances positively in the future. Fear shot on jumping enemies, man. The only thing that makes me regret even slightly the pickup of Abaddon. I had a feeling you would die before the uh, next jump. This might get you, too. Yeah. We don't have a map. We just uncovered a lot of uh, intersections here because of that big room. And, you know, normally I like to do small rooms first. It doesn't really matter, though, because our damage is really good right now. That's not how you're supposed to handle that. And now th the real danger occurs because my creep kind of intermingles with the enemy creep. It makes it difficult for me to tell what the F is going on. Another bomb. If there was a card that teleported us to an arcade, even if one didn't exist on the floor, I would be all over that shit. There is not, though, which is why I'm not really blowing up the skulls. Wow, that was dangerous. Unknown pill ends up being balls of steel. Didn't really immediately benefit us. I think we were near or at the HP cap even. But uh, knowing that it's there in the future is nice. The knowledge of it is the important part. Alright, double boss room. Again, there's no reason not to fight here. And I do think, like, we can probably start to call this one a one run. We're not really rolling out of control with respect to our stats, but we're doing pretty well. And the fact that we're going to get deals with the devil on all future floors helps out a ton as well. Um, this is going to be annoying. There's no two ways about it. Luckily, uh, worst case scenario, at the first black heart, they'll all die. But we'll also get a spirit heart back for it. Which will take us to the HP cap, and of course, a deal with the devil after, plus an item, and the items on boss rooms don't get much better than the halo. Absolutely take this. Uh, the little brimstone pick up a little bit extra damage, but mostly this one's all about the, uh, the halo. Not a secret room. We got a lot of work left to do on this floor. I really, really, really hope we get an arcade on the next floor. I think we've earned it. You know, I'm a little biased, probably. That was not smart, but they're all going to die anyway, I guess. Um, I'm a little biased in my uh, interpretation of whether or not we've earned something, but I think we have, and that's all that matters for me personally. And I, I think I'm getting a little more uh, motivated to get real Platinum God because it's finally, you know, the end is in sight. Also, because I realized that one of the items we're missing is Fly Love, and I'd think back to all the opportunities I had where I was like, Fly Love! Or not Fly Love, but like, Three Skull Monty, I'll play everything but you. Especially the Blood Bank, of course, but... Pheromones. Eh. Eh. Teleport not worth very much here. We're on Necropolis 1, so I don't... I don't really want to spend the money even though the compass is so good. Actually, we're better off with pheromones. We're not going to lose our orbital here. Um, we'll see if we get a lot of money from our secret room or something. It was right there. It's a slot machine. Come on. I'm doing my part. You know what? This is a compromise. Compass is uh, compass is a great item. But I'm ooh, I'm not. I'm still not going to take it, even though we're at 26 cents now. And the reason behind that is because I want to have. I would love to be able to give 99 cents to the Three Skull Monty if it shows up. I wanted to know that I appreciate it, and I'm I'm sorry for the lack of fiscal help that I've given it in the past, okay? I, I'm sorry, Three Skull Monty. Come back to me on the next floor. I'm going to treat you right. Go buy your mama a house. Go buy your whole Judgment family houses. Spend some money for no reason. Come back and ask for more. I'll wait for the creep to dissipate. Could have just walked out of the room, but... I'm lazy about it sometimes. I mean, Dubstep Worm is pretty good, but again, I'm focusing on money here, so 
Counterfeit Penny seems like a smarter pickup or a smarter hold. How do I feel about the Magician card? Eh, not that useful. All right, two Spirit Hearts and two Bad Trip Pills. It's worth it. We basically got one Spirit Heart out of the, out of the room. That's nothing to sneeze at. We could buy the compass and still have a decent amount of money left over uh, to play a Three Skull Monty with on the next floor. Certainly more than enough money to spawn an arcade, but I don't want to, you know? I don't want to. I want to give ourselves the best, not even just the best chance, but the best hope. The best hope, that's important. I want to be as hopeful as possible. Do you believe in this run? I'm going to say that most people would probably say no right now, as, as for believing that we could at least get one of those Platinum God items. I believe in this run still, to this to this moment. I think we got a good shot at it. Don't piss on my rainbow, unless it makes another rainbow, in which case, feel free, but like cover your junk, please. Depths 2. This is a big one. This is the last, um, well, Infamy always shows up, of course, but this is the last chance, I think, for us to get an arcade. Again, occasionally, a Three Skull Monty will show up on the womb. It's an exception rather than the rule. You also have to use like four bombs to get to it. Might blow it up by accident. I don't know what its hitbox is like because I never play it. Uh, he's gonna, yeah, basically just jump straight up and down. The only thing is like you don't want to go get right next to him in case fear wears off. Or like you don't want to get right next to where he might jump just in case the fear wears off. But anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there because we did just fine there. Uh, it was worth it for infamy. Just took time. Which is not really a uh, critical resource for us right now. From a, a non-farming Platinum God context, this run's totally fine. It's, it's quite good. The damage from Little Brimstone and Abaddon, and plus all the other like somewhat interstitial stuff that we've got going on, is pretty great. And uh, on top of that, lots of, uh, lots of HP. And Book of Sin is alright. It's an adequate item. This is, well, at the very least, if we don't get an arcade, we will buy something from our shop on this floor, assuming it's not greed. We get the Ankh as our item, which I think the Ankh can sometimes show up in the secret room, so this might make it slightly more likely that we get raw liver, but let's be honest, this is, we're, we're gasping at straws, or grasping at straws a little bit here. Um, let's use one more bomb, because we just found a secret room anyway. And our shop contains, like, piggy bank. Uh, we're I'm starting to lose a little bit of hope, but you can't really throw too much of this blame at least immediately. Long term, yes, I probably should have gone to more secret rooms. I probably or probably should have in the past gone to more secret rooms. It's not like it's unforgivable now, but um, I also probably should have played the three skull Monty a little bit more, especially considering. I mean, it's a surprise to me because I already got the uh, trinket. For getting for playing it a hundred times. Yet I still like out of those hundred times, I never got Skatol. I think I might have even had it in the fucking beta, which is hilarious. To not have it now is it's a little bit of a piss off. Um I don't really care what we get here. Doesn't matter. Shoot the whoop. Lucky Rock. I mean Lucky Rock is great for getting more money, but we're at the point. Finally, where I think we just don't need any more money. A bunch of pheromones pills over there. Uh, double key room. We'll blow these all up. I think they all fit there. Well, wow, I mean, the cricket's head pickup is amazing there. That makes me feel a little bit better, but... You know, I'm looking at the, the layout, and I'm thinking to myself that it doesn't look like there's a great chance for there to be another... special room, but, you know, the fact that there's, like, a branching path near the end... Wouldn't it be great if we found our arcade on the last possible, like, branch of the last possible floor where it could show up? Answer, yes, that would be great. Well, fuck. Okay, now we can just focus on this being a good run. It, there were some times where it was pretty risky, but uh, now we find ourselves doing pretty well. I thought I saw a tinted rock there. I'm not going to bother playing the judgments. Uh... Mostly out of laziness and a little bit of, uh, of anger, I suppose. Uh, but I, I also don't want HP upgrades. If they're going to give me HP upgrades, I don't want the HP upgrades. We got a High Priestess card. 
It's a shame that we can't use that on this room. Like, if it was a Devil card or something, that would be awesome. But High Priestess is actually useless against, worse than useless against Mom. It'll lead to us taking uh, damage from the foot of our own spawning. Uh, deal with the Devil, definitely here. You know what? Let's go Dark Root. Uh, I, I have to go to the chest just on the off chance that Skatol is part of the, um, like, it, it's part of the other items. Didn't we have the Paw show up once in this room? I can't remember. Amnesia? Pheromones. I'm going to get Satanic Bible and take it with us. I don't know, man. I don't think it's a big difference whether or not we go to the chest or the dark room, but I think on the chest, there is a small chance that maybe we could actually, uh, um, find, uh, Skatol in one of the chests. I mean, we could still find raw liver in one of the secret rooms. It's just real unlikely. Mostly because the secret rooms are going to be harder to find. We don't have that many bombs. Uh, but also because, again, the odds of an item showing up in the secret room are already low as is. And then it needs to be our specific item and we don't have any rerolls. So, we got a little bit of a, you know, a tall order in front of us, I would say, in terms of uh, getting those items. I really thought that we'd have a great chance of getting Skatol here. But, hey, that's alright. I'm not going to really push for it too much because we're going to get it at some point no matter what. Especially Skatol. Like, Skatol is going to show up. The only question is whether it's going to show up soon or late, and I guess to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter to me. It's rich for me to say that after spending the whole episode talking about it, but, you know, it's it's the kind of thing that is just not that uh, immediately important. Raw liver is at least more strategically useful. A lot of people like Skatol more than I do, but uh, they aren't me. <laughs> we, we have differing opinions. I hate this enemy. I believe... He is more likely to spawn when you're not shooting at him. Kind of like a turret. We got the job done. Sometimes they seem to glitch out and just take forever to pop up. Or they never pop up at all. I, I hope that this is our secret room right here. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Well, I think we're just going to get a move on then. We're going to get a deal with the devil here. I'm not going to go to our curse room unless I get the ability to fly right here, which is... Certainly not outside of the realm of possibility. Don't do your foot thing. I hate your foot thing. That's the one. He's dead. Latchkey is okay. And... I think it's hard to justify taking either of these. Like, Demon Baby is okay. Not that big of a deal. Um, missing page two. Oh, shit! I was totally wrong. You can get an arcade here. Oh, now, I, immediately, I was like, I remember why I don't like playing this guy. He takes forever. We should not stand so close. Oh, but we, you know what? There you go. We got one free play out of it. We just got a luck upgrade, so I'm a little bit more excited now. I was going to say, our, our flies should take care of it. I can just, uh, you know, one hand on the game, one hand on this delicious can of sparkling water. Wood Northern Line, you drink can... No! It was worth it! I would find a grenade for you. Seriously, though. Work with me. Pay out. People sometimes get mad at me. Say, whoa, look at this snob drinking canned water. It's sparkling water. It's flavored sparkling water. It comes in a can. Whoa, in Canada, water comes in cans and milk comes in bags? That's crazy. No, it's not that. It's just a very efficient means of, you know... Preserving a, a, a fluid. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yes! <laughs> we did it! Oh, shit. I am a real American. Fight for the rights to get fly love. Oh, yeah. I am a real uh, Isaac player. Finally. Do anyway. Well, that's that. We are now, um, we're now in the, the home stretch. We know the last item we need for real Platinum God. And Platinum God, for that matter. It's Raw Liver. Who had their bets on Raw Liver? Step right up. Finally, nearly four months after the release of the game, we know the last item for real Platinum God. Even though we didn't even know that real Platinum God was a thing until... I don't know, probably a week or so after release. When did Cobalt get it? He was probably like... He might have been the first person to get it worldwide. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, 
I know that with like the 12 hour, or not 12 hour, sorry, 12 day marathon stream he did when Rebirth first came out, that uh, he got it within like the first eight days or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be mistaken, you should check that for yourself. I can't believe that we actually willed that into existence there. I mean, there's no reason not to get that dime. Fuck it, we never need money again! We did it! Moon card. Wheel of Fortune. I played it for once, for or played it one time, for your mind one time. Yeah, whatever. Damage is good. Now we can just focus on the win, I guess, because we did get Skatole. I think we're only one item away, but shouldn't... How, is there any way to get Platinum God and Real Platinum God at different times? Like, is Real Platinum God, the, the specific difference is that um, you would have... Like, Real Platinum God would be specifically for the Lost Unlocks. And Platinum God is... Like, the Lost Unlocks plus everything else, and Platinum God is everything but the Lost Unlocks. Please. Okay. Well, you know, there is still a chance for us to find the secret room on the next floor. And the floor after, for that matter. I mean, I might as well pick up the dime. I don't know why I was thinking I wouldn't. Good news, secret room. We found every secret room on this run. Every main secret room on this run. With the exception of one. So you'll forgive me if I feel like a little bit disappointed with the fact that we didn't even get an item pedestal. Like, at least if we'd gotten an item pedestal, I could be like, well, you know, if I had Isaac, maybe we would have had a chance of getting raw liver there. Instead, there's just been like no hope whatsoever. We're actually lucky enough that we have a high damage and high HP run that I can afford to, you know, have the luxury of looking for secret rooms all the time. Because if we were getting by just by the skin of our teeth, we'd probably... You lived? Uh, we'd probably just have to worry more about survival than anything else. What's our extra life from? Oh, we picked up the Ankh, right. Forgot about that. Unlikely to matter, but the fact that we have it is a nice peace of mind, at least. Now, I guess we might as well just head down to the next floor. We are going to the cathedral. We don't want Bible Track. It gives us a better chance of getting deals with the angel amongst uh, maybe a better chance of getting spirit hearts, but we already have Rosary Bead, which does the same thing without increasing our deal with the angel chance, which doesn't matter because even with Goathead, uh, there's no deals coming for us anyway unless we get a Joker card. So there is nothing to be concerned about. This fight is over. Didn't even get close there. Now, I'm always tempted to use the Emperor card immediately, but I guess the odds of it working out are so... Don't tease me like this. Don't give me a secret room here and then have it, like, be skeleton key or something. Um, I will be very disappointed if that ends up being the case. But still, I mean, I guess we'd have skeleton key, so I can't be too mad. But yeah, I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna look for everything. Bob's rotten head. Nothing useful at all. It could happen, though. You know it could happen, right? It just seems so fitting to have the opportunity to pick up the last item you need for real Platinum God on a Curse of the Blind. It's like playing pin the tail on the Headless Horseman here. Probably not worth it. We can use the Emperor card as soon as we... Um How did that shot die in midair? Um, like, their shot died in midair. I got super lucky. Um, we can... Uh Use the Emperor card as soon as we find the secret room. Might as well, in fact. There's another bend in the road here. I can't believe they didn't kill any of the bomb flies, by the way. This is looking like I'll take a little damage. Wow. Lucky me. I mean, there still is the chance of a loss happening here. It's just... Okay. I feel a little bit like an idiot there. That was my own fault, I think. Or that might have been the bomb fly that I killed that opened that door, so I don't feel so bad about it. The worst is when you're fighting Daddy Long Legs and the motherfucker uses a foot to push you through the door. Amnesia. No, thank you. No stopping us. Alright, Death, let's do this shit for real this time. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I was actually hoping that, that, that the... Um, Last little brimstone shot would get the kill there. As long as we don't blow up the door, though. All is forgiven. 
60 cents. Not that that matters anymore. I'm amazed that we got this Katol payout so quickly when we actually did manage to finally find an arcade. That's just like the game taking pity and being like, you know what? Am I being the dick in this situation? And it decided yes. And then, uh, and then it, it, to its credit, you know, made a change. Maybe it was looking at the man in the mirror. Maybe it was asking it to change its ways. Maybe the message couldn't get any clearer. Changes ways, maybe. I forgot. Okay, come on. Eight bombs. There we go. Uh, sure, but that's not really what I was looking for. You know, there's no reason to use the Emperor card now. We can still use it on the chest if we find the secret room before we uh, find the boss room. Probably has like a 50% chance of happening. Who knows? And now we've got like the, the excitement is a little electric, don't you think? Like we have a chance every secret room to end our real Platinum God problem. I can't believe it wasn't Meat Boy that was the last thing. I can't believe that we didn't accidentally pick up Fly Love at some point. I can't believe we picked up every secret room item but Raw Liver. Some of them multiple times. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I hope I'm also not missing another question mark on my, uh, on my page that I've just neglected to notice. That would be the most frustrating thing. If I got Raw Liver and it was like, you know, business as usual. Mostly I'm excited to get Real Platinum God so I and everybody else can shut the fuck up about the fact that I'm not at Real Platinum God yet. Curse of the Blind. Oh, don't do me dirty like this. We should have a win. Mom's Bottle of Pills. Didn't work out. Samson's Chains. It's okay. Spider Baby. It's okay. Tough Love. Um, our luck stat is a little high, so like this might be a bit of a help, but I don't think it's going to be too important. All in all, you know... If we win this run, which we should, the tools uh, became available to us much earlier than the chest. This is not a run where I had to say, hey, all we have to do is make it to the chest and then we should have a good chance of getting carried. Like, we got we got carried earlier. Probably with that, like, first deal with the Devil Goathead, honestly. That's ended up paying dividends to a crazy degree. Yes, just stay in a line. And then as soon as I say that, they're, like, super out of sync with one another. But if you can stay in a line as long as possible... I would love it. Ooh, that was a little risky. One's already dead, though, so the, the next one should fall pretty easily. Kind of wish I'd purchased the battery. Like, we are in a situation where I'd like to have two charges stored up instead of one, but let's be honest, it's it's not likely to matter too much. Dead bird. It's okay. Uh, I'm glad I didn't look for the secret room there, because it seems like it's not possible. Gluttony very low on HP. I don't even want his drops. I'll take the key, I guess. Haven't even found a suitable secret room candidate that we can be sure of yet. Just want to make sure. Like, I want to come up there to hit both of them at the same time with a little brimstone. I didn't want to be too close just in case of the fires, you know, got in our way, but that's okay. All right, there's the secret room opportunity then. I also can't believe that out of all the items that we've gotten on this run, including all the fly items that we got... We didn't get Lord of the Flies or just a, a passive, uh, or even active, I guess, ability to fly at any point. Considering all the good luck we've had and the prevalence of those items in uh, Deals with the Devil, it's a little bit of a surprise. Not that it fucking matters at all. But still, it's the principle of the thing, you know? Extra key. Nope. Let's check down. I don't know why, but I feel like down might be good. We should actually... It's so, so minor... But at this point, I'm a little desperate. We should try to kill Sloth last. Because, uh... If he gives us a moon card, that would sort us right out. Two of diamonds, sure. And this is a dead end, unfortunately. With no secret room prospects on either side, but it was at least, uh... You know, an easy room to get through. Or an easy uh, assortment of rooms to get through. Mr. Boom is not good. Spider Bite is extremely good. Again, not that any of these are going to be that uh, impactful on whether or not we're going to win. Because that... You know, I hesitate to say it's set in stone already, but... You know, are you watching the run? It's looking real good. But anytime we can slow an enemy, especially an enemy that's very mobile, that's good for us. Come on. Just give me what I'm looking for here. 
We can work the game. It's better for you if we work together. This language is getting a little disturbing now. I've earned it. No, now it's definitely getting disturbing. Mm. Well, there is a... That was not very smart of me. There is a secret room option here, though. Potentially. Uh, we'll try up here, just because it's a little easier to hit that spot that we need to hit. Okie dokie. My guess is that we probably are going to end up uh, not using this Emperor card. We might even find the boss room before we find the secret room. We don't have too much control over it, though. Like It's pretty much just a numbers game, outside of having a map and compass. Uh, well, actually, the map wouldn't do it. We'd have to have blue map. Might end up needing that bomb. And we've reached yet another dead end. So that's probably half the floor done. And none of the enemies have really put up a significant threat to us yet. A quarter. And undefined. So, people are going to want me to use undefined. And it actually is the sensible choice. I'm not going to use it yet. But I will use it to try... It'll actually, I will because it teleports us to the secret room. Yeah, that makes sense. Or the error room. So that's the second secret room with some amnesia pheromones. Uh, I hope we get another charge. Now we know where our second secret room is anyway. Um... Let's explore the back half of this floor. If we get the error room, we could always go down and like make our run stronger and also find ourselves uh, another secret room. Although I think the layout of the secret rooms will be the same. So if it has an item, which it doesn't, we would be able to farm that. But I think because it doesn't have an item, it'll never have an item. But we'll check anyway if we get another charge. Otherwise, this run is uh, it's coming down to the end here. And I think you got to give me... Mystery sack. Could drop a, a little charge, I think, which might be useful. Um, but I think you got to give me credit for doing everything in my power to get those real Platinum God requirements. And just RN Jesus didn't smile on us today, and that's the way it's going to be sometimes. Actually, it did, because it gave us half of what we needed, but it could have been... Uh, could have could have had it all. I don't know the rest of the song. But I've heard it many times in my life at karaoke. Sounds like this. That was more of a share impression, I guess, but that's okay. I had a feeling you were about to jump. You should be dead. I can't believe that you were able to use a tractor beam to fuck up my shots that badly. It's funny that despite all the extra damage that we have, I think the best DPS we have is still actually uh, attack fly if you get it on a good rotation. Why dodge right through it, but then at the same time, how did we live? So, I don't know, I guess we'll fight Blue Baby, and we'll see if... This is just for bragging rights at this point, but we'll see if Blue Baby pays out with... Well, he won't pay out. We'll see if the charge that we get on Undefined from Blue Baby allows us to go to the error room. In which case, we'll start the song and dance all over again, and we can recall where the secret room is, because with Undefined, if we hit an error room and end up having to do this room again, or do this floor again, everything will be in exactly the same position. Otherwise, uh, beating Blue Baby here, getting Undefined uh, to take us to one of the other secret rooms probably means that this run is over, because there's pretty much no other chance of us getting it. But still, we're now very much on the clock when it comes to... Uh, Real Platinum God. I'm excited. I hope you're excited, too. It'll happen. No error room. I think that's going to have to do... We. That's Mr. Boom. I think that's going to have to do it, honestly. I don't know what else I can do. I really put my all into this. Um, I guess we'll do this room, and we'll see if, like, Mystery Sack drops a battery charge. At this point, it's probably more time efficient to just start another run and look for the secret rooms on that one, but... You know, I'm, I'm not really all about the time efficiencies and the whatnots. I'm more about the, you know, throw a Hail Mary pass and let the dreams fall where they may. More along that side of things. And this will, uh, this will do it. So we really need a battery to drop here if we're going to have any chance of uh, pulling out a completely unlikely moral victory. It's already been a crazy good run. That's all right. Uh, just in terms of the fact that we did so well as Lazarus and the fact that we got Skatol, but hey, can't 100% win them all.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.